Hello, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's the man with the knowledge. Thank you for watching. Mr. Peter Salter, he is the chairman of the Reef Street Rod Club here in Joburg. Peter, we're at the Piston Ring Club today. There's a massive show going on. It's unbelievable. I'm blown away by the cars that are here. Not only street rods, but also lots of other cars, lots of collectibles, lots of cars that just need showing. Am I right? Yes, and we cater not for just street rods. We cater for muscle cars yeah. and cruisers. And so we're kind of broad based and obviously we're trying to attract younger people and they can't always afford street roads so we accommodate them as well yeah i see there's some can i call them modern classics as well eh? yes uh, quite a few of those i love those as well there's one or two down there that caught my eye just now that i'm going to catch because uh, i owned one of them uh, way back when <laughs> and the pity is that if i'd known it would become a modern classic i would still own it and, and if we could have bought everything that we liked that was for cheap but we didn't have money we'd also have done well <laughs> we all have legends and stories am i right that's what it's Absolutely. about but peter i mean there is such a turnout over here today your your section i'm going to call the the street rod club the reef street rod club is over here we're going to look at a lot more of them in a few moments and get a closer look at some of the cars and maybe uh you can show me your pride and joy just now and give us sure. a good look at it uh let's do that in a few minutes but thanks a lot Good luck, well done. Thank you. This is an amazing event, I can tell you that already. Thank and you. we're going to see much, much more. This Peter, we're at your babies now. These two, there are two of them. Two bright red ones as yes. well, I love. Give me some detail on your cars, please. Okay, this is a 1936 Dodge right. pickup. It has a Chevy V8 motor in it. Okay. It has Jaguar suspension in it. That seems quite popular on street roads, doesn't it? It is because yeah. it's very modular and easy to install. Ah, okay. Right. <laughs> and you lowered it, you dropped it, you've done a few things like yes, that to it as yes. well? It's, it's a total street road, so okay. it's the old looking cars with modern mechanicals. Yeah, yeah. And then your other baby on this side? This is a 1941 Willys. Yeah? Um, Everybody knows Willys as Jeeps. Correct. Yeah, I didn't know they did cars, actually. Before they did Jeeps, they built cars. <laughs> okay. Well, of course, around then is when they would have started with the Jeeps, 1941-ish. Look, they, Willys started back in the teens. Yeah. And most people have heard of things like a Willys Knight. Yeah. Which was part of the same. Okay. Stuff. That's interesting. Now, what have you got under bonnets on this okay, baby? Okay, this has got what they call a big block. Chevy. Yeah. It's a 7.4 litre V8. 7.4? Yes. Okay. Um, now, is this built for speed or for cruising? <laughs> or both? I think it's really for fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are other cars that are far safer to go faster in. Right. Okay. But these are fun. And what you got underneath, suspension wise, etc.? Okay. This one's got Jaguar. Yeah. In the front, and it's got a Ford 9 inch diff. Okay. Because Jaguar is not strong enough for the horsepower that this makes. <laughs> I was going to say. And the one thing we did never discuss when it comes to these cars is fuel consumption, right? Uh, no. You <laughs> said smiles per gallon. <laughs> not miles per gallon. Yeah? Smiles per gallon. <laughs> Fantastic. Peter, thanks so much for showing me your babies, okay? My pleasure. Peter, we're looking under the bonnet now of your willies. I mean, look at this engine and everything beautifully chromed as well, of course, eh? Well, Polished and clean. Yeah. yeah. What, do you know what power output this thing puts out, or is it not even important? It's about 400 horsepower. 400 horsepower. So it's about 300 kilowatts, roughly. Wow. Okay. And the body is steel or it's fiberglass? All steel. All steel. Okay. Yep. So it's carrying a bit of weight, but. Uh, yeah, but it's a relatively small car. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So it doesn't matter, but absolute beauty, sir. Well done. Thank you. I've just found Tony Nimant over here and he's showing us one of apparently his many cars that he has but again you know every time you talk to somebody over here you just get the passion and the pride in their cars. Tony what are we standing at right now? Yeah, um, this is a 1948 uh, Citroen Light 15 
Um, the body work is still as it was in, uh, back in those many years. And just to put the perspective right, I'm 76 years old today, or now, and this car is also now 76 years old. But what a pleasure driving a car that's, is. A, yeah, and, I mean, really. You know, the whole thing of a street rod is to maintain the old shape. Right. But to make it a modern car that you can drive on the road safely. Absolutely, you can yeah. get away from a truck yeah. or, and brake and so on. So yes, it's got seat belts, it's got safety features. And that is the whole idea because you want to take your family and your friends somewhere safely. Agreed so with you, yeah. This car, for instance, has Porsche 928 front and rear suspension. Porsche 928? 928 front okay. and rear suspension. Yeah. It's been made rear wheel drive. Right. It came out as a front wheel drive. It was, of course, the first popular front wheel drive yeah, car yeah, ever, the like 15, yeah. That, and it's the first, Citroen was the first car to have a mono construction, no chassis. Yeah. It, it also was front wheel drive and uh, it didn't have uh, it had a special suspension. And right. There was no springs and so on, yes. you know. Yes, correct. Um, yeah, now, so what have you got under the bonnet on this? The bonnet is a Supra, a six-cylinder. The three-liter six-cylinder? 2.8, 2.8 okay. Supra. The, yeah. And as I said, I, I bought a Supra donor car, which was an accident. And everything in this car, basically, except the front right. rear suspension, comes okay. from that Supra. This okay. seats, the gauges, yeah. the computer. Is the car open? Can we have a look? It's open. Okay, let's have a look at the inside of it. Oh, look at those seats. Yeah, you can see, I mean, modern seats, obviously. Yeah. But beautifully done. I mean, the way you've actually managed to fit everything in, of course, is the crux of the matter, isn't it? Yes. And, uh, you know, it's a small car, but, uh, Earl, I'd like to a favor from you. If you just step closer, you're a tall man, a big man. See if you can, see if you sit in there, if you get in there. Not and how that. comfortable is that? It's it's so much Look at that. Wow. Yeah, wow, that is amazing. So, yeah, it, as you said, it looks like a small car, but it's and actually, it's got, of course, that massive C pillar over yeah, there. Yes. But beautiful car, Tony. Really nice. Yeah, How long you. have you owned it? Man, this car has been on the road for over 30 years already. Yeah. And oh, it's, it's been everywhere: East London, yeah. Cape Town, wherever you know. Fantastic. So, the rims, just for interest sake, yeah. because it's a Porsche, uh, these rims are hollow spokes, which means. That if you get a crack in the rim, yeah. the tire goes flat. Okay. So that saves you from losing a wheel or and having a dangerous situation. You know? Well, so, yeah, it's amazing how they think of yeah. these things. Absolutely and incredible. Yeah, and this is just the added thing. This is the aircon, obviously. You know? <laughs> so that's, that is the aircon. Well, at yeah. least you've got one advantage over me, Tony. What's that? You can still get the wind in your hair. <laughs> if you have a look at me, I'm no, but I can't anymore. I'm battling, I'm battling. <laughs> battling Thanks so much, Tony. Thank Lovely you, car, beautifully done. And, and it's a beautiful day here. Thank you for everybody attending. We appreciate it. Thank you. Chatting to Jake Jacobs over here, who's the owner of this beautiful, beautiful vehicle over here. Jake, give me some details on this car, please. Yeah, I'm uh, actually a guy from Port Elizabeth. Yeah? And I didn't have friends here in Joburg. And I've met friends of mine, uh, Harry and Dave Corbett. Myself and Harry become very close to each other. And this car, his youngest brother, was in the interest to build it, was a piece of scrap. And uh, they told me I have always helped them. So uh, we decided to build the Studebaker. It's only 1939 uh, opera of the Pace Studebaker in South Africa. Oh, 39 Opera Coupe. Yeah, it's a 39. And am I right in saying the distinguishing feature of the Opera Coupe is the, twin, the split windows? There was back seats that was facing each yes. other. Right. But I've changed it the way it is. Right. And, uh, yeah, and then we bought the street or the other one because there's no way to get in the streets. Yeah. So, uh, in front I've got a Chevy 327 V8. Wow. Those years I bought so for yeah. 30 yeah. bucks at the sure. Asian scrap yard. <laughs> and it's still running. Wow. And, uh, and suspension wise? Suspension, I've used a Jaguar now. Okay. Um, tower steering. Right. Uh, as I mentioned, the engine is a 327. Stock standard. 350 turbo box, a Fairmont GT limited slip diff, uh, brake booster is a Volvo 122S, <laughs> the battery is hidden underneath right? the floor so yeah. you don't see no battery, no brake booster in the engine compartment wow. so keep it okay. close. 
and most of my writing, I've hidden away, so if you, you don't see it really Amazing writing. stuff. Jake, so, thanks so much, eh? Thank you very Lovely much. Lovely chatting, all right. Okay, thanks. Thank, thank you. Very much, eh?